Hello and welcome to C++ for Delphi Developers, Episode 2, Object-Oriented Programming with C++ from the viewpoint of Delphi. In the previous episode, we've got that both Delphi and C++ code can be logically or physically separated into two parts. And now we can understand the structure of the project in C++ Builder. But before we start, let me comment the principal difference between Delphi and C++ syntax. The following metaphor is quite funny and descriptive. You are a master and your code is a dog. The restrictions of Delphi syntax are a dog collar and a dog lead and your code obeys you. C++ has far less restrictions and limitations in comparison with Delphi. And this provokes fresh new programmers to let their dogs go wild and crazy. So once you start your first or second or next C++ builder project, it'll be okay to emulate Delphi style of coding. So in C++ you can declare variables everywhere in the code in contrast to Delphi. Yes, we C++ developers do this every day. And even there, in this little code, we can invent a number of coding styles. And this will be still compilable. But it will be good if you keep the Delphi style, pretending to have var session, section, as well as some artificial begin-end block. Then you can take some C++ professional style from books or real codes. In idle case, all your dogs will run together. And don't forget web technologies with Embarcaderos HTML5 Builder. Buy C++ Builder and get HTML5 Builder for free. Find the details on the presented link. The offer will end very soon. I have already commented the degrees of freedom and wild dogs, but here I am making mess of my code only for visibility. Uh, let me locate my new C++ class right above on click on button one click. Don't forget semicolon after the class block. Why is it so important? Because otherwise you will have quite a strange error when trying to compile your code. The error states too many types in declaration. So simply don't forget semicolon. Single, double or triple semicolon causes no, no harm at all. But please find explanation by yourself. My task is a jumpstart. Now we have some simple class and let's discuss how objects in C++ are created. Here is a declaration of a variable type tMyClass. In Delphi we can also declare a class tMyClass and then we can declare a variable of type tMyClass in red. It will create a variable ref which can or will have a reference to the object. A ref variable is real, but the object is still imaginary. We need first create it. In C++ the situation is different. You declare a variable of type or class tMyClass and then we have not only reference, but already created object. In C++ code we we have declared the variable of uh, type tMyClass and we can start using it right uh, after uh, the line above. We can access for write, for writing and for reading the variable uh, inside the created object. It works fine and uh, no problems, no access violation. The object will be automatically created and destroyed. The most frequent and typical way of creating C++ objects, especially in C++ Builder, is rather different. We won't declare a variable ref of type tMyClass. We are declaring a pointer pt. Please see asterisk added. Now pt pointer can or will contain a better say pointer to an object which will or can be created. So now we are getting closer to Delphi. If you compare with the previous slide Delphi uh, reference you'll see that Delphi's reference is just the same as C++ pointer. Please don't forget to add asterisks 
when you are trying to emulate the Delphi style of dynamic creation objects. Once we declared a pointer, it's time to somehow create a C++ object. We'll discuss new later. At the moment, just see a new variation of Delphi's creation with create method. Uh, this time it's called differently new. It's a keyword in C++. And now we can access the variable in the object using arrow symbol. These arrows are typical for C++ builder, not point as in Delphi. Once we created and used the object, we must also free or delete it. The line looks like that. In contrast to the previous way of creating objects, the code structure looks quite understandable for Delphi developers. Let's complete and summarize this episode. We have button 1 and event handler. Now we understand what's this. This is arrow. To the right is a property or method of an object. And to the left is a pointer to this object. Let's find what edit1 means. Edit1 is a pointer. You can find it. It's a pointer and don't miss asterisk. And finally, edit1 is a pointer to the object of class tEdit. Now we are quite comfortable with this code. In the next episode, we'll consider constructors and destructors because C++ and Delphi, they set different rules for them. And then we'll start understanding everything in Unit 1H and Unit 1 CPP. Thank you for your attention.